Bradford, Crew, Wigan. You've never heard of these fucking places. None of you. Anyway, hi everyone, it's great to be here. You okay? It's amazing. We haven't we've got more than four people here. This is amazing. We're breaking box office records tonight, ha ha ha. Last month was like water world. <laughs> All right, I'm really happy actually because I, I got invited to a party. Yeah, last week I got invited to a party, which is weird because the only thing I thought I'd get invited to would be a suicide pact party. <laughs> but seriously, it was actually a party, it was a birthday party. All right, fucking hell. Like, the only party I've ever had, which I hosted, was on my 21st year, is really fucking shit. Only two people turned up and I headbutted one of them. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. <laughs> It's a shit world we're living now, isn't it? It's a shit world these days. We've got the ISIS terror. ISIS, yeah? ISIS. It's such a boring name for a terrorist group, yeah? ISIS. It sounds like a spy's proficiency test. <laughs> I do my ISIS test this week. I have to kidnap two Western journalists. <laughs> Fucking ISIS, though. Like, one of the members of ISIS, one of the higher members, he actually did a CELTA. Do you know what a CELTA is? Yeah, it's like a TEFL, yeah? Which just goes to show that ESL teaching isn't a great career option if you'd rather be a member of ISIS. <laughs> Fucking hell. There you go, kid, there's a career move for you. Imagine that, you're debating it, like, hmm, I've got, a, I've got a TEFL, I could go teach English in Korea. I could be part um, of a horrible, narcissistic bunch of retrobates, or I'll be a member of ISIS. <laughs> Seriously. I've got more. I did all this last night. I'm trying to remember it. I'm fucking drunk. <laughs> Thing is, like, <laughs> I'm so fucking drunk. It doesn't matter. Thing is, like, like I'm a bit like ISIS, yeah. Because like I wear black a lot, yeah. I'm really angry, and I like to see my women's face covered up. <laughs> no, no, different reasons. No, 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 different reasons. Have you seen girls from Blackpool? Seriously, <laughs> seriously, no. <laughs> That's mandatory! Seriously, I dated a girl that looked like a, uh, she, a face like a pie. You know, a crumbled pork pie. Seriously. No, no, no shit. You've got to be careful. And fuck, fucking, you know who I feel sorry for? The whole ISIS thing. Fucking Al-Qaeda. Yeah, they've really lost their thunder now. Because of ISIS. You know, they're nothing. Uh, like, ISIS are kind of like, um, are like Frasier to Al-Qaeda's cheers. You know, like a far more successful spin-off than the original thing that it came from. We got picked up for another season in Syria. Fuck you, Al-Qaeda. They won Best Newcomer at the International Terrorist Awards in Beirut. Lifetime Achievement Award went to Jerry Adams of Sinn Féin. Oh, I don't know. Because I know my friend here from Ireland. That was for him. Because I'm a good fucking friend. <laughs> Remember that, girls. <laughs> Alright, what else can we talk about? Oh, you're fucking out. Oh, I mean, I'm such a shitty. Who's got a shitty Hagwon job? Put your hand up. Shitty Hagwon job. Fuck, oh, yeah. It's just like, like, but the thing is, I can't even pronounce it. I've been doing this for so long. Like, I'm like, I'm, I'm like Hagwon poison. Yeah. Seriously, I've been doing it for so long. Like, and also, like, I love doing comedy here. Like, I couldn't do comedy in China. Because I'd be like, so, uh, alright, Beijing. So, uh, so that Maui. Eh? What a prick. Oh, that's me, done. I'll see you in a gulag sometime. <laughs> Seriously, and also like Saudi Arabia. Hey, Saudi Arabia! He's a cartoon of someone you might know. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, like, who the fuck fucking teach in Saudi Arabia? You can't do fucking anything. Like, you can't fucking listen to music, drink, smoke. You can't even fucking hold hands with anyone in public. Like, all you can do, the only public thing to watch are executions. <laughs> Well, this would be a phone call at the end of a Friday. All right, mate, yeah, what's going on? Uh, yeah, yeah, do you want to come out? Yeah, what's an execution? Yeah, yeah, some guy that fucks rams is getting executed. Right, yeah, so, yeah, uh, yeah, can I bring my own rock? Yeah, fucking bring your own rock, man. Don't worry about it. It's going to be fucking awesome. You know what, you know what, I've got one rock. If you want, I want a rock, I'll fucking give you a rock as well. I mean, I'll be collecting 20 rocks all fucking month for this. <laughs> And next week we got a fucking paedophile, so fucking hell. Bring a fucking boulder, mate. What a fucking, fucking ace time, mate, I tell you. Fucking <laughs> oh, hell. You can't do this job, though. It's the only job left. You know, I used to work, I used to work in there as a fucking pot washer. 
like a dishwasher person. But in England, they don't call it that. They call it a kitchen porter. <laughs> it's like nice and posh, you know. I'm a kitchen porter, good sir. I wipe shit off dishes, and I'm too thick to be a chef. But seriously, a <laughs> kitchen porter. Like, what, what the fuck's that all about? It's like, what? I mean, you know what we call prostitutes as well? We call prostitutes. We don't call them prostitutes. We call them sexual intercourse senior supervisors. <laughs> Seriously, it's so ridiculous in England. Anyway, that's my time. I'm fucking wasted. Have a great fucking night. Yeah. Give it up for Mr. Stephen Nancy, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're coming here at the end of the.